Hi everybody. I hope you enjoy today's full gentle strength workout for seniors. Today's warm up is called the hustle. We're gonna do it on the right side and then on the left side. All you have to do is follow along and do your best. Let's also warm up with the golden eight. Just follow along and we'll do these eight exercises very, very slowly.
our weight routine today is going to involve two different size of cans from your pantry. So I've chosen a two pound, maybe two pounds, red kidney beans, and this one, a one pound can of salmon. And halfway through the routine, as we move through the exercises, we'll switch hands. Just make sure your form is as perfect as you can get it, feet shoulder width apart, and we'll work the upper body and the lower body at the same time. So my arms are at goal post position. I'm gonna push overhead and lift up my knees. We're not gonna go very fast, and we might do more than 10, because we wanna work our slow twitch muscle fibers, and we want our form to be the best it can be. Whoa. When you lift up your leg, it requires your core muscles to stabilize you. My arms are going straight up. Switch sides. Was an overhead press. Bring your forearms together. Peck press. Notice the feet. Still requires stabilization, so core muscles deep inside your body are turned on. Switch. Standing up nice and tall. That was a peck press. Switch. We're going to do the Dairy Queen dip. So our legs are coming together, knees together. Push our knees forward, our bum back, and dip the weights. Too fast. Switch. Slow twitch muscle fibers. Switch. That was a Dairy Queen dip or forearm press. Feet shoulder width apart. So I'm going to bend my arms at the elbows, bring my weights together here like this, hinge at the hips a little bit, and then tap out as I fly. Squeeze my shoulder blades together. Switch. The fly. Switch. So now I'm going to bring my legs wider. And as I do a little bit of a reach around the tree and hug it, I squat. So I push my hips back, my knees go over the center of my feet, I keep my head up, and I hug the tree. Working my shoulders, my back, my legs. All is good with the hug. Not too fast. Switch. Uh, 
Good work. Switch. So now just standing in neutral, no big deal here, but I'm going to pretend there's a chair behind me. I'm going to stick my elbows close to my sides and as I curl up and do a bicep curl, I'm going to put my heel out in front and straighten my leg. Not too fast. This looks easy but isn't. Keep your elbows glued, glued to your sides. Not too fast. Sit in that pretend chair. Switch. Good work. So again, your feet are together, standing up tall, hinge a little bit forward, lift your elbows high, and as you straighten your arms, only the forearms move, we tap our toes to the back. So it's a tricep on the back of your upper arm, a tricep kickback. Keep your head looking straight ahead. Switch. Good work. Straighten up, relax, switch. So we're going to do a squat. So our feet are wider than our shoulders by a little bit. And as we go down and sit in the pretend chair, our hips go back, our tailbone goes up, and our arms come up to our chin, and we look straight ahead and sit in the chair. So it's a squat, a chin squat. Working the upper part of our body and the lower part of our body in a weight routine. Not very fast. Switch. Pull up as you sit in the chair. Just one more. Good. Put both weights together, one on top of the other, and hold on to them right in the middle. Put your feet wide again. And so what we're going to do here is put our arms straight out parallel to the floor. And as we come down, so we're going to bend over like this. And then as we raise our arms up again, we straighten up. Bend over, straighten up. Notice my legs are pretty much straight. I bend over, weights go down. I straighten up, weights come up parallel to the floor. So it's a forward thrust, kind of like a deadlift, but we'll get to the deadlift in a minute. We don't have to switch weights because we've got them both together. Just a few more than 10. Not too fast. And one more. So instead of when, uh, w bending over, sorry, we're going to lift our weights over our head. And as we come down, we're going to do a low squat. Swing the weights between our legs. And bend, of course, at the knee. And sit into the chair and keep your head up. Watch me. So it's a squat, swing, overhead lift. Some people do it with a kettlebell. That's one of those cannonballs with a handle. Working your whole body here. Not too fast. 
few more. Work on the slow twitch muscle fibers in our body. That's good. Bring the weights down. So with a deep squat here, maybe, depending on who you are, put the weights down on the floor. Come back up. Good. So what we're going to do here is a deadlift. We're going to hinge at the hips, right? But our head's going to look straight ahead. But we're sticking our bum back and hinging at the hips. Our knees can bend, a little, our legs can bend at the knees a little bit, but not too much. And we're going to just pick up, straighten up, put down, straighten up. So our legs are pretty straight. Our head is pretty well looking up. We're practicing the deadlift, which is not a squat. Because a lot of us use this position to pick things up, which is mainly a low back exercise because our knees are weak. And why are they weak? Because our quads and our hamstrings are weak. So I'm looking straight ahead, well almost. I don't want to hurt my neck. Two more. Last one. And then there's one more exercise. It's a lunge, put one foot forward, one foot back, up on our toes, balls of our feet back there, shoulders are over our hips. And as we go down, our knee goes over the middle of our foot and the weights go out to the side and fly, an airplane fly, not a house fly. So our knee at the back goes straight down, the knee at the front goes over the middle of our foot, and our shoulders are over our hips, our arms are straight. Switch, and we're gonna have the palms go up this time. Up, up. Almost done, the weights. Good, bring your foot forward. Other one goes back, up on the balls of your feet back there. This time, we're gonna take our arms out on an angle, out to the front, that way. All right, straight arms, up that way. Remember, you can stop anytime you want and rest. It's your workout. Switch to the back, up and back, go the arms. Straight up and down like an elevator, goes the body. One more. Good work. Weights. So after we do our weights, we're going to do our fast twitch muscle fibers by moving our body faster than normal. And just so that we don't have to go very far because we've got this little restricted area to work in here, we're going to march, swinging our arms with our legs here. Our knees don't have to come too high, but we're going to go a little faster and a little faster for 20 seconds, as soon as we get going fast. Okay, you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, relax. Yes, sir. All right, are you ready to go again? 
we're not going that fast, but we're going pretty fast for us, right? So we're just gonna walk, swing our arms, lift our legs a little bit on the spot. And then move everything a little faster. And as soon as I think we're going faster than normal, I'll start counting. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here comes my cat, eight, nine, ten, slow down. She wants to be in the exercise program. She usually exercises with me every day. And one more time. Working the heart. Okay, let's go a little bit faster than normal. A little faster. Notice I don't start counting until I get myself going pretty fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. That's only three sets. That's enough for today. That's our aerobics. Don't forget to drink water. Going down here, the first thing I'm going to do is get myself into the table position. I do a couple of cow cats and then I'm going to move back into the resting child and up into the cobra. Take my time, maybe do 10 of those and that's it. Okay, so watch this if you want or you can just join along with me. So it's table position, cow cat, and then resting child to cobra back and forth. Here I go. And I might hold each of these positions to start off with here for about three seconds and maybe work up to five, but no longer than that today. Warming up my spine. Okay, now my hands go at the top of the mat till my arms are straight. My knees go wider than my hips and my feet go on top of each other and I slowly go back into a resting child, keeping my arms straight and bringing my armpits to the floor. And then I come up and straighten my legs that way and push my belly button as I raise my head belly button to the mat. It's just about a three count and then I go back, feet on top of feet. Take your time. One more Cobra. Good work. Turn around, have a seat. Good. Now I'm gonna lie on my back. I'm gonna do a bridge. So my legs are gonna be bent with my feet flat on the floor. When I'm ready, I'm gonna lift my hips up as high as I can and lower them down. So that's what I'm gonna do. You can watch, listen, 
and then try it, put me on pause, or you can do it along with me. So I'm gonna get down onto my back very carefully, maybe to my side first, and then to my back. Where's my mat? There it is. So my legs are bent, my heels are flat, shoulder width apart are the legs. When I'm ready, notice the natural curve. Well, I'm gonna start by pushing that in that low back into the mat with a pelvic tilt, then lift my hips up as high as I can. Hold it for the three count, slowly come down till my low back touches and then relax my hips. This time I'll do it again, <coughs> slower. Push my low back in, slowly lift my hips up as high as I can get them. Push my knees forward, tighten up my quads, my hamstrings, my bum, and hold it there for your three count. And slowly come down and push my low back into the mat and relax my hips. Where are you going, Twyla? Twyla's somewhere. I can't see her, but here I go again. Low back with a pelvic tilt. Yeah. Hips go up. Slowly, as high as I can go, tighten, tighten, tighten. And then down slowly, push my low back into the mat and relax the hips. Good work. I'll just turn over on my side and go and do the next one. So my arm is gonna be pretty much straight out I'm just lying on my arm there with my head. Everything's stacked, legs on top of each other, and I'm one big, long, straight pencil. Good, hold on to the floor wherever you can so you don't fall over, and lift up the leg that's on top and down, and up and down. That's pretty good, eh? Up and down. Bring a side scissors. You're stacked and you're lifting your leg. Now let's just go a little slower here. Both ways. This time stay up there. Leg is straight. Now push your heel back and push back with your heel and come forward and push back. Little pulses there with the heel. and then slowly come down. Done, right? Right. Let's get up on our forearm. Good. Now somehow we're gonna, in this stacked position, we're gonna lift this hip off the floor. So I'm gonna take my top leg and put it over in front of my lower leg so I can be in a little bit of a scissors there and use my feet to help me push up. And this hand, it's pushing up forearms pushing up. Get my hips up. Don't hold your breath. And down. Maybe take a deep breath and blow out on the way up. When you run out of air, breathe in on the way down. Blow out on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. And one more up. And down. Good. Let's switch into the other side and start with the hips. So forearm, stack your body, put the top leg on the floor in front of the other one, use the hand, the breath, and when you're ready, take a deep breath in and lift your hips up and blow out. Breathe in and blow out. Breathe in. I'm coughing. <coughs> and blow out. Breathe in. Good. Straighten your arm. Have a little rest. Your head is on your arm. Stack your top leg over your bottom one. Everything's straight as a pencil. And when you're ready, don't fall over. No sleeping. Top leg comes up. So it's a scissors on your side. Now let's slow it down. Good work. 
Next time we'll stay up there. We'll do our heel pulses back. One, three, eight, nine, ten, and slowly come down. You're in control, not your body, but your brain. Good work. So I'm going to lie on my back for a second here. <clears throat> Take one leg and bend it and put your foot on the floor. Keep the other one straight and flex that foot. Good. Put your hands underneath your low back to support your arch and your lumbar. Now, the leg that's straight needs to be tight. The calf, the shin, the hamstring, the quad, the knee, the hip, and the bum all tight. When it's tight, then you can lift your head up a little tiny bit as if you've got your head on a scale, a weigh scale, and you don't want to have it weighing on the weigh scale. So let's try it again. Lift your head up. About three, two, one, right? And down it goes. Relax that leg. Bend it. Put the foot down. Straighten the other one. Tighten everything on the Straight leg side, tighten everything. Ready, up. Goes your head a little bit off the scale. And when you're ready, put it down. Relax the leg, one more on each side, except we'll add our breath. So everything's tight on the straight leg side. I'm ready to lift my head. So I take a deep breath in, and when I blow out, I come up. And when I run out of air, I go down with a breath. So here I go. And breathe on the way down, switch. Straight leg, everything's tight. Take a deep breath. Blow out. And breathe on the way down. Good work hands come out so I need to get up so I'm going to turn on my side get myself into that table position again hands down there below my shoulders curl my toes in now I'm going to go up on my fingertips and push up onto my feet flat feet now I'm walking in with my hands and I'm in that upside down position and slowly straighten up. We're going to finish today's workout with a side stretch. We're going to try to hold it for a whole minute. Think about positive things that have happened to us this past week. And that'll be a, ch a challenge for me because I have a brain that likes to go all over the map and I wanna focus in on the positive things, maybe one or two or three positive things that have happened to me this week for a whole minute as I hold the stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hand on our hip. This one's coming up straight overhead and then push our hip away with this hand and this arm, keep it straight, all right? And let me back up so you can see my hand. It's in the air, I'll wave it at you there. So I'm gonna take the palm and let it hold up heaven. And then I'm going to look up at my palm and lean back a little bit and hold the stretch. So I bring my head 
and my arm down gently and slowly. Straighten up. Wow. Push on the other side. So I take this arm, this hand, put it at my waist. Feet shoulder width apart so I'm nice and stable. Standing up tall. Push, right? Push. Straighten the arm. Bend the hand to point it up to heaven. Push it back a little bit. Bend and then look up at it. Think positive. There you go. Have a little sip, a little drink up. Started off with the hustle warm up. Then we moved into the golden eight warm up number two. And then we moved from the weights to, we did the aerobics, right? But only three sets of 20 seconds marching fast on the spot we didn't start counting the 20 seconds till we got our heart going you gotta be careful with that one maybe you need to see the doctor and find out if you can do aerobics get the heart up before you do it anyway then we got down on the mat and we did some um back exercises cow cat resting child cobra we did some Stuart McGill, uh, one-legged, lift your head off the scale, bunch of stuff, side raises. We did a bunch of good stuff for your your uh, back down there. And then we finished off with a stretch, standing side stretch. And here we are. So until next time, just make sure you move with intention every day.